Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all of your stuttering, rubber banding and FPS drops in new CS2. I hope this video helps you so make sure to watch it till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below and with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is graphic settings. For fixing your stuttering, you need to make sure that you do this step. First things first, open up settings on your PC and then go over to gaming, then go over to game mode, make sure that this is turned on. Then right need that, go to graphics and in that click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these, which is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Now, this will help you to reduce your input latency as well as utilize your GPU for rendering the game. Now go back to graphics and then in here click on browse and then go to the installation directory of your CSGO. Then make sure to add cs2.exe in this list. I've already added it so you just need to find in CS2 over here. Now once you find it, click on options and then select high performance right over here. Then you're gonna have to go to windows updates and make sure that your windows is always up to date. Keeping your windows up to date is a really good habit because windows by default has a lot of bugs and with every update they try to fix it. So make sure that you're always up to date with the latest updates. Step number two is service tweaks and for that you need to press your windows and R key together and then search in for services.msc. Simply press in enter and then this big window will open right in front of you. Now what you're looking for is S Y S that is sys main right over here. Simply right click on that, go to properties and then make sure that the startup type is set to disable. This will stop making prefetch on your windows and this will help you to improve your PC's performance and it could also fix a lot of issues with your stuttering and rubber banding. Now next step is system configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC and right over here go to boot and then click on advanced options. Select the maximum number of processors right over here and then click on OK. Then go over to services right over here and then click on hide all Microsoft services and over here you can disable all of your RGB or fan controlling services as well as browser update services. Since they consume a lot of memory in the background it can also cause you huge FPS loss. Just disabling all of the unnecessary services will get you much better performance. Simply click on apply and then click on OK. Then click on exit without restart. Next step is creating a restore point and this is really essential. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Then once you are here, select your local disk C, click on create and name it CS2 and then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your computer's integrity. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal without any data loss. Next step is the CS2 stuttering fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download it from there or if you're facing any issues downloading this pack you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial now once you are here you will find in the first folder which is the really important folder in this fps pack that is the cs2 priority you need to open this thing up then you'll find in cs2 command line arguments now these are the updated command line arguments so you need to copy this control c it then you need to go open up your steam now once you're here look for your cs2 if it is not already updated make Make sure that it is up to date then go to properties and right over here paste this command line argument so that it will help you to improve your game's performance then you have the cs2 high priority and this file contains high priority registry for your cs2 now this will set your affinity to higher level so you need to double click and run that or you can also right click on it open with registry editor next is the registries section now over here you will find all of these registries you need to make sure that you run all of them to ensure that you fix all of the rubber banding as well as fps drops and this will also disable unnecessary services to get you better performance on your windows next folder is a tweaks folder and in here you will find delete temporary files disable unnecessary services remove runtime broker as well as useful tweaks now you need to make sure to run all of them as administrator and it will delete all of your unnecessary files. Simply press any key to continue. Next one is the unnecessary services. You need to right click and run this as administrator again. And that will remove all of your unnecessary services. Next is the remove runtime broker. It is a running application in the background of your PC, which is not really required in Windows 11. So what you can do is right click and run this as administrator once again. And it will remove all of the runtime broker processes. 
Lastly is the useful tweaks. You can right click and run this as administrator once again and that will apply all of the best tweaks for your windows for gaming. Lastly is the RAM optimization folder and over here you will find a lot of presets I have left over here. You can simply search for system information on your PC and then look for the installed physical memory over here. Now I am using a 32 GB RAM so I need to run the 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can pick any one from this. I have also left a reset to default right over here. Now once you're done with that you can close the FPS pack. Lastly is opening up your CS2. Alright so once you're in game you need to go over to the settings menu then go over to video then over here you can select your display mode to full screen and then simply click on apply changes now once it is done you can select your refresh rate you need to set it to the maximum refresh rate available for your monitor then go over to advanced video and right over here make sure to enable boost player contrast disable vertical sync then for the current in-game value preset you can always select low over here doesn't really matter using the lowest settings will give you the best fps and it will reduce all of your rubber banding issues right off you also need to make sure that your fidelity fx super resolution is set to performance since this setting will give you the best fps possible in your game you also need to make sure that your nvidia reflex low latency is set to enable plus boost to reduce your input latency now these settings will decrease the quality of your gameplay but it will give you the max fps possible and with stable frame rates you will fix all of your rubber banding and stuttering issues right away so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out